It is finally here guys, 35 by 1250. Now let's get to the video. As you can see here, I finally have 35 by 1250 with the 3.5 inch lift and I think it looks absolutely perfect. I was gonna go with 295-70R18, which is a little bit smaller than uh, the 35 by 1250, but you know what? I did not want to settle. I wanted what I wanted and I got it. And as you can see here, 35 by 1250 R18 on the GFX wheel, which you've already seen in previous videos. If you haven't, go ahead and check out my review on these wheels. But this, my friends, is about these awesome tires. These are the Kumho Road Venture AT52. They got the three peak mountain snow rating right there. This is a great tire, pretty affordable for a 35 inch tire. And there's a good look at the tread here. I mean, to me, it looks like a hybrid, but it is a all terrain. It kind of reminds me of the Falcon Wild Peak with the uh, sidewall here design. And then it's pretty cool because it actually has these little mountain designs all the way around the tire. I really like that. I don't see too many people with this tire. It's always either Falcon Wild Peak, Nittle Ridge Grappler, or the uh, KO2s. So yeah, these are definitely different than what most people choose. Um, but that's kind of what I love about them. And of course, they're relatively affordable price. I'm digging it. Let's get a different view here. Check that out, guys. Um, the truck is on a little bit of a incline, so yeah, it's not perfectly on a leveled surface, but you get the idea. Really like it. The tire is very quiet, super quiet. Um, as you know, with my Tacoma, I had MTs on there and, you know, I thought I can deal with the noise, but I absolutely hated it after a while. So I went with the uh, Yokohama Geolanders and they were super quiet. And that's what I was going for with this uh, tire choice here. So these have more of aggressive sidewall than the Yokohamas. Let's get a view right here. Pretty decent. Let's check out the uh, wheel poke, if you will. So as you can see, not too much, but for me, it's perfect. I do have a zero offset on these wheels. Um, so yeah, the combination of the zero offset with the 35 by 1250, I think is absolutely perfect. And once again, check that out. Yeah, guys, I'm really loving this look. Let's go ahead and look at it from this angle here. Very nice. Very, very nice. So yeah, like I said before, they are very quiet. Um, still keep that somewhat aggressive look, but just not overly aggressive, um, which is exactly what I was going for. Now, as far as MPG goes, um, most likely my MPG is going to go down. I don't think by much, especially when I found out something. I was kind of debating whether or not I should take off the uh, air dam, as you see right there. But upon investigation, there's actually, I mean, this is a tradesman, so I didn't think I had it, but there's actually another... Uh, air dam right behind this one it's an active air dam and it comes out once you go if i'm not mistaken 35 miles an hour or over and i don't know if you can see it there that's it right there so that actually comes down further and makes the truck and i quote a little more aerodynamic so like i said i don't know exactly what the mpg is going to look like I'm going to give it a little bit more time and then I'll give you guys an update on how much MPG I'm getting with these 35s. So all the tires balanced out great. Um, well, you know what? I won't say great because one of them did require uh, a lot of wheel weights, but I think that's due mostly to the type and the situation that I'm in. Um, so with the 18s, they come close to the caliper. I've mentioned this in previous videos, so you have to kind of watch where you put the wheel weights. Um, and then you also have to use, if you're gonna put them anywhere near those calipers, you're gonna have to use really thin wheel weights. So let me see if I can find them. Okay, as you can see right there, 
Look at all the wheel weights they put. Okay, that's a lot. And I think that's because they just couldn't put it all the way towards the lip of the wheel to get a good balance. So that's kind of what they had to do. Um, so yeah, if you want to run 18s, just be aware of some of those problems you can run into. Um, yeah, but you know what, no big deal. Uh, I got the tires installed, same place I got the wheels installed at Discount Tire, my local Discount Tire. Uh, they're the only ones I vouch for because I haven't been to any other location. They're my favorite place to get any work done so far regarding, you know, wheels and tires and stuff like that. They also will change out your wipers. Um, I'm not sure what else they do, but yeah, great service. Great service. They already know me there. I've been there so many freaking times already. So as soon as they see my face, they, they know exactly who I am. Um, but yeah, I am so happy. Uh, I can't express I haven't been this happy since I had the Tundra and I haven't been over the Tundra since I got this Ram. Um, the Tacoma wasn't doing it for me. I love that truck. It's a great truck. I recommend the truck, but as far as, you know, having that full size V8, four by four, I love having a full size pickup, all the space. And then um, if you remember my Tundra had the, uh, if I recall the Crew Max. So I had a bigger back door and a shorter bed. This one has a smaller back door and a much longer bed and I love that combo. I just think it sits really nice. Plus I love having all the extra bed space. Um, yeah, got a new tonneau cover. I'll be making a separate video on that. This one is very different from all the other tonneau covers I got. It's definitely my favorite one so far. Stay tuned for that one. Um, but yeah, guys, let's get a, another front look of the truck. I got people watching me, but it's all good. I'm doing what I'm here to do. As you can see, it's got a nice look to it. Very nice stance. It just looks mean. It looks exactly the way I imagined, the, the, exactly the way I pictured it. When I first got the truck, you know, it was a basic uh, tradesman. I mean, if you see this on the street, you're not gonna think it's a tradesman. Come on now. I think this was the best decision to get a tradesman very, basic and then do exactly what I want to it yeah I love it I absolutely love it um, they did put my tires at 40 psi I will probably be bringing that down to 35 maybe 36 um, for obvious reasons I mean yeah sure you'll get better uh, mpgs with the higher psi but you'll get a better ride with, you know, 35 PSI versus 40 PSI. So I will be doing that. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely be using my last fit air pump that I got, which is in another video. If you guys wanna see that, very awesome air pump. But yeah, as you can tell, super happy about this, super satisfied about how everything came out. If you have any other questions on these tires or anything else about my truck, leave it in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to either answer it or make an entire video uh, regarding that question, or even make a video regarding a couple of questions that you guys leave. So yeah, don't be shy. Leave some questions in the comment section, like I said. And as always guys, continue to stay for the ride. God bless, and I'll catch you guys later.